Hey guys, it's this little cloth here, and today I'm starting this Monster Legends Leaks video. I have some brand new leaks for you guys, including some brand new uh, Cosmic Mythic movesets, as well as just some new events. So yeah, let's get right into it. So the first move set is for Zephyr Fox. Zephyr Fox will be out on Friday, I'm pretty sure. You can see all of the events for this week, like two videos ago, I made a video on that. So yeah, definitely look out for that to see when Zephyr Fox is coming out, but I'm pretty sure it's on Friday. So this is his move set. Let's just go over it real quick. So the first good move is Gamer Fox. Applies Pierce to itself, deals moderate light -like damage, applies Sunburn to one enemy, removes Pierce from itself. So that's weird. So it applies Pierce for itself at the beginning, which I'm pretty sure Pierce is the equivalent to Vulnerable, but giving it to yourself so that you, like, do the damage more instead of making it so that other people can do damage more to the enemy. I know I explained that really bad, but hopefully that cleared it up. And then it deals moderate light damage, and then it removes Pierce at the end of the turn. So it'll apply Pierce, do damage, then remove it. So yeah, won't have Pierce anymore after you use this move. Then the next move is light him up. And it is deals moderate light damage to all enemies, apply sunburn to all enemies. That's pretty good, not too amazing though. The next one is calm the waters, deals moderate light damage to all enemies, applies daze to all enemies, which is pretty good. The next one is raider mode, applies triple damage to itself during one turn, applies vulnerable to itself. So that is a little weird, you're giving vulnerable to yourself so you take more damage. But you also get triple damage, so if you can get this off... And then not get hit at all. Because if you get hit, you're probably going to die because you're vulnerable on yourself. But if you can not get hit at all, and then you can use one of your attacking moves, it'll be good. Especially if you get that pierce off too. Like on the next move, it says, applies pierce to itself, applies damage boost to itself. If you can use that move, and then use raider mode, you will do tons of damage and be able to kill basically anybody you want. And then the next one is Tomato's Power, applies Pierce to itself, deals very heavy light damage, removes Pierce from itself. So this is an upgraded version of Gamer Fox. So yeah, definitely run this move, Warm Scarf, Raider Mode, and then Calm the Waters. Those are his best moves. And then the next Monsters move set is Cairo Crawler. So I leaked this guy such a long time ago, I actually forgot he existed. I love his design though, it is super cool. So now let's see if his moves are cool. So the first one that really does anything is his second move, Ahuna. Removes minus 20% of total life from one enemy. So this is going to be one of those monsters that can remove the total life of monsters. Which is pretty cool, I like that. So let's get on to the next move. So the next move is Elysium, deals moderate water damage to one enemy, applies a 50% life shield to itself, requires cooldown. I like that, I like being able to get shields on myself, so that's pretty cool, and the moderate water damage is really good too. So the next one is Arcea, deals heavy water damage to one enemy, applies immunity to freeze to all allies. I like that, that's pretty good. The next one is Body Slam, removes minus 20%. Of total life from itself removes minus 25% total life from all enemies. So it's kind of like it has a drawback removing minus 20% life from itself, but I feel like the removing minus 25% life from all enemies is like worth it. It's really worth getting minus 20% total life from yourself. So I'd still run that move even though it has a pretty big drawback. The next one is a U. Yeah, sorry, I can't say that. I don't know what that says. But yeah, you can see it right there. Deals moderate water damage to one enemy, applies mega freeze to one enemy, requires cooldown. That's a pretty good move. I like that. It does quite a bit of damage, and it has mega freeze, which is really good. And then South Busala. <laughs> all of these moves are so confusing. Deals moderate water damage to all enemies, applies freeze to all enemies, requires cooldown. I like that too. Giving freeze to all enemies, really good deny move. And then Olympus applies Megaton to itself, applies a 50% life shield to itself. Megaton is super good on tanks, but this doesn't seem to be a tank. Or it might be a tank. I think it is a tank, actually. So yeah, giving Megaton is super good. And the life shield is really good, too. So that is a really good move. Olympus definitely run that. And then Chironix is his special. Applies Mega Freeze to all enemies. Applies three turns till death. Countdown to all enemies. Honestly, the three turns till death isn't that good, but the Mega Freeze is super good. But I guess it goes well with the death countdown, because it'll basically just give you two free turns of the death countdown, then they'll only have one turn to remove the negative status effects, which is pretty good. But I guess you could still remove them in that one turn, so I guess it's it's okay, but it's not, like, super good. And then Zephyr Fox is a light attacker with pierce skills, we did already see that up here. And the collector's breeding is going to happen. And you can see all the combos right here, nothing too special, they're just all the Christmas monsters, because, you know, Christmas is coming up. 
And then down here, we have an evolving trait. Do we know who this is? Okay, this is Zupper Fox. This is Ophiuchus. We leaked Ophiuchus's moveset in the last video. So Zupper Fox, ooh, you can get Status Caster Pierce. That is really good. So at the beginning of the battle, you can just put Pierce on yourself and on everyone on your team, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's really good. And then the rest is pretty good too. Amina Nightmares isn't that good, but the Amina Blind is pretty good. So yeah, that's a pretty good trait. And then down here we can see this is Ophiuchus, the really good deny that's going to come out very soon. Immune to torture, to anticipation. That is amazing for the monster coming out very soon named Steam Wrath in the race. So if you can get this, it can counter Steam Wrath perfectly. So yeah, I definitely suggest that you guys try to get Ophiuchus because it's a very good counter to Steam Wrath and you're going to see a lot of Steam Wrath being used very soon. So yeah, both of these monsters seem really good. Cairo Crawler and Zupper Fox, and then we got some updates on Ophiuchus and the Fox guy. And yeah, that's pretty good. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Goodbye.